we did select one piece on this, which was quite fun, which is the, the, the main piece from Lorca and the Outlaws, which is called um, Red Wing. You got it up? I sort of have, yeah. Where, oh, good. Whereabouts does it need? Well, right from the beginning, really. Uh, the, 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 there's a sound on this, which is a sort of very pure sound, which was actually created um, originally when I first got an emulator, which could sample sounds and everything. You'd try all the obvious things. You know, one of the obvious things was a wine glass, rubbing your finger around a wine glass. So Mike Rutherford rubbed his finger around a wine glass and I sampled it for, for the emulator. We never ended up using it, I think, on a, on a Genesis track, as far as I know, but I had it on my thing. So I used it very extensively during this piece, um, Red Wing, as the sort of main lead sound. And uh, yeah, I've got that chord again, I'm afraid, so chord I use too often, maybe. That's the one. I think we put a bit of reverb on it in the mix. <laughs> enough of that one. You can stop there. Well don't worry about it, we'll get to that later. No, it's just that this, I mean it's interesting that was just a one note sample on a thing but because of the emulator obviously you could play it right throughout the keyboard because it's a very pure sound it tends to sound, doesn't sound sped up or slowed down like some sounds do and then with the, with the bending as you can do all the time on it it makes it sound very it sounds like almost like a wind instrument of some kind. It's amazing what a basic sound, how good a basic sound can sound, I think, and the variety you get out of it. So I was quite, I was quite excited by that, actually. Um, we did the other thing we wanted to demonstrate. This in this in Clavier. Yeah, well, this was an instrument I'd got quite soon before this and produced a, just had some wonderful sounds on it. That's it. It's just uh, the synclavier, uh, as, which was also could be a sampling instrument, but at this stage it couldn't do that, and I didn't never got that part of it. But it had a very complex way of con of creating synthesized sounds, so you get this extraordinary sort of very floaty kind of sound, I think. Which uh, you know, and uh, there were two or three sounds I used to use. There was obviously classic sound at the beginning of, of Mama, which was another synclavier sound, but they're very complex. But they sort of you can't quite tie them down. They're sort of almost vocally a bit synthy, but with much more musical quality, I think, than your average synth sound. So, anyway, I just happened to be on that track. So, but I think the, the wine glass is the more interesting one. Mm. 